Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate that love and support. If this reading resonates with you, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos for you all. Please remember that there is no gender in tarot and timing is fluid. So these events can be past, present, or future. And um, Cancer, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your North Node. So let's see what's going on. We're just going to get some messages. Let's see what the message is for you guys. I'm just going to, whatever spirit guides me to let you guys know. I'm going to be using this Kipper deck. So let's see. Spirit guides, angels for cancer. Please allow me to be the channel for cancer spirit. And please allow me to give clear, honest, and accurate messages to my cancer collective. Please and thank you. Let's see, we have expectation. So you guys waiting on something or you're expecting some movement? Because I feel like you guys maybe have been waiting for a long time for something, Cancer, to come in or you're expecting something. But you guys know expectations lead to disappointment. So I wouldn't say sit and wait. If that's what you guys are doing. Let's see what else for Cancer Spirit. That equals up to a 10 so maybe you might have you, you know um you might not have to wait that long let's see what else for cancer spirit we have family room yeah maybe you're waiting to yeah it's empty so i don't know why i heard that some of you all could be waiting for your child to come back from school <laughs> I don't know, that could be for some of you. Maybe they're off in college or something or something like that. That's a message for somebody. But, yeah, some of you all could be waiting maybe for your uh, your family members to return back from somewhere or you're waiting for somebody to, I'm hearing, like, give you the family you want. Maybe you want a family with someone it's empty right now it's just you possibly so you're waiting sorry guys i'm sending this so you're waiting for someone to come back i feel this person could be a part of your journey your path or something like that what else for cancer sudden wealth hmm. that's nice <laughs> what else for cancer you guys should play the lottery or something could be seeing sevens Pathway, we got high honor, pathway, and mature woman. Hmm, so we're going to clarify these and see what's going on. Could be a mother figure involved in a situation here. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, we're going to clarify this. You guys could be waiting for some money to come in for your family. But there's a path that you're supposed to be going down here. Yeah, it's <laughs> but like, yeah, with distance, distant horizons, you guys have been waiting for a while, you know, but it's just like about to um, happen for you guys. Maybe something is definitely about to come in for you, whatever you, this is that you're waiting for. For Cancer Spirit, what is Cancer's overall energy okay cancer's overall energy spirit let's see what we got going on for cancer oh look at that <laughs> three of cups is that your overall energy i didn't even mean to um do that but that's a I'm going to leave it. So you're overall, maybe you're waiting to reconcile with someone or get back with someone. You're waiting, waiting for a reunion or reconciliation. Your overall energy is, um, could be that, or it just could be that you're ready to like get out, you know, with your friends, have fun. You could just be partying right now. You know, maybe some money did come in for you all. Hmm. So let's see. 
Nine of Swords, Page of Wands. So let's see, why is expectation here, Spirit? What is going on with that for Cancer? Three of Wands. Yeah, you're wanting to grow. You're wanting to expand. The Sun in Reverse. Then the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you guys... <laughs> There, there is something coming. There's a, pa a new passion, a beginning coming. Could be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Leo. But yeah, you guys are not seeing this coming, or you guys are being very pessimistic right now. If for some of you, you guys could be pregnant and you're maybe expecting, you know, because maybe you've you've had miscarriages or losses in the past that you are just waiting to hear bad news about it and it's like don't think don't think like that here because this is a card of fertility so it could be for some of you that um you know i think maybe you're just scared this is fear to me so you're fearing that maybe you're not going to hear good news about the baby you're expecting you know what i'm saying and it's it's even if the sun is Turn, you know, flip this way, 616 on my timer, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be success. It's still here. It's just you're not seeing it. <laughs> you're being pessimistic about, about a situation. But yeah, so there, with the three of wands here, you, you're wanting expansion, growth. It looks like there is some travel, some travel going on. Um, so like I said, for some of you, it could be that you're waiting for somebody to come back to you. And it looks like somebody is. This person is coming towards you. Or to expand with you to grow with you somebody could definitely have to be traveling you know maybe you live overseas or in a different state different country whatever but it looks like somebody is waiting for their ships to come in to travel towards you here <clears throat> and it's like maybe you've been waiting for so long that you don't really see this coming towards you but there's a new there's going to be a new opportunity for something i feel like you're not going to expect it because you're just in that energy of like irritated from waiting for it. But yeah, there's a new passion in the beginning here. Could be with the earth sign. Somebody that's very um with this nine of pentacles, somebody that's very abundant, very stable, very loving, caring. They um have their shit together. They're single. They're worried about their money right now. Could be that you're starting something with this person. You could be waiting for new opportunities for jobs to come in for you or going towards these opportunities for something that you're passionate about as well. With the nine of pentacles, something that's going to help, you know, solidify you, help your, your money grow. But maybe you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel right now. I think maybe with the four of swords, maybe you're in your head. Yeah, I just said that there's the eight of swords. Somebody's in their head about something. They're really overthinking it and it's keeping them trapped in their head, in their mind. You know, and this is probably what's stopping this person from coming. But it looks like they are coming. <laughs> With the Knight of Cups. <laughs> I cannot. So let's see. <laughs> there is a passionate new beginning here. So let's see. For family room. Why is family room here for cancer? The star. Yeah. The seven of swords. Ooh. Why else is the family room here? For cancer. Eight of wands. So yeah. There is fast forward movement here. So it looks like somebody wants to, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody wants to heal and balance things out here with their family. Because right now it's empty. You know, somebody is missing someone else. Somebody's missing their kids, their family, whatever they had, they're missing it. And I feel like somebody, there's going to be communication here. Something is moving really, really quickly now. Like, if, you know, distant horizons is something that you guys are not it's like you guys are not seeing it because it's been so distant for so long you know but it's like just over the horizon so something is coming in quickly it looks like there's going to be communication um someone could just be going through healing right now maybe they need to take a break from their family <laughs> i mean hey whatever but they somebody just needed to break free from something to um take a break it could have been some lying cheating dishonesty going on here somebody could have lied about maybe having another family or it was just something going on here, some sneakiness. You're going to clarify the Seven of Swords. I want to see. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit, for Pisces? I mean, for Cancer. <laughs> I just did Pisces, y'all. I'm sorry. 
Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, there's been some, there's been an awakening here. There's been a judgment call being made on somebody that was, you know, lying, cheating, being sneaky, being dishonest here. And somebody has awakened to the bullshit, you know, that's why this family room is empty. That's why it's empty. The Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands. Hmm. Could be dealing with the Libra. But yeah. There's a decision that's been made or that needs to be made about this sneakiness that's going on. Yeah, but some, something is happening really quick. I'm hearing like this person got away quick. <laughs> but the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands is like they're running and shit. Like they really got away with something and they did it in a very sneaky way. But... Yeah, there there could be something coming towards you that's sneaky or dishonest. But they're being stopped in their tracks with this judgment call. They're not going to get too far. Yeah, someone is really working on themselves. And there could be probably family in the background being, like, annoying. So let's see, why is sudden wealth here for cancer? Why is sudden wealth here for cancer? Ace of Pentacles, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Very fitting. Four of Cups. Why sudden wealth here for Cancer? Eight of Swords. King of Cups at the bottom. So yeah, there's a new beginning. I feel like you guys are working on something that you're passionate about. It's it's like um whatever it is that you're passionate about is gonna bring you some some money. Um I feel like if you guys, like I said, play the jackpot right now or play the number or whatever, you guys are going to win something very nice. But um, there, there's definitely something coming in towards you. Um, it could be you guys are getting something nice for yourself. Maybe um, a new car, a new home, 12-12 on my timer. Something nice. But I feel like the divine is blessing you with a new beginning, something that's solid, something that's grounded, something that's stable for you. And your family, it could be for some of you. Um... With the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups, it could have been somebody Somebody has missed out on this sudden wealth or whatever this is, this new brand new opportunity because someone is too busy being stuck in their head or focusing on past cups. You know, they're not really seeing the blessings that they have in front of them is what I'm feeling. Someone being really overthinking a situation. Somebody just does not see this coming because they're too focused on other shit, I feel like. Somebody does not see this sudden wealth coming in for them. You know, they're somebody's like really bored, really they feel really stagnant, they feel really stuck, you know. With maybe in a job situation or something that's not emotionally fulfilling. But something is keeping someone stuck here. And then it's like boom. <laughs> Sudden wealth could be, you know, it could be money. But it could definitely be, you know, wealth is not always money. You know, it could be uh, mean spiritually too. Physically, emotionally, happiness, you know. That's what I feel like wealth is on a soul level. You want to feel wealth, wealthy in spirit. So let's see. Why is um, high honor here? Why is high honor here for cancer? <laughs> Why is high honor here? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Swords in reverse. So, hmm, let me see something. Why is this Knight of Wands here, Spirit, for Cancer? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Four of Swords. So, with the Nine of Cups being here, you guys are getting something that you wish for. Uh, wishes are, are um, being fulfilled here. There's going to be success. It's going to be happiness. It's going to be abundance here with this Nine of Cups. You know, Nine of Cups always reminds me of, like, drinking. So you guys could be, you know, getting ready to go out and party. This is the energy. So maybe something that you're being respected for by people around you. They're congratulating you, like, yeah, bro, or yes, yeah, sis, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like people congratulating you or cheering you on about something. It could be. That's what I'm seeing in my head. But something is um, 
and you're getting your wishes fulfilled here, basically. Um, the Six of Swords, though, it's like maybe you were in a situation that maybe you went back to something. Or maybe you were just going down your wrong path here. This path could have had you drinking heavy or something like that. But you just walk right into fire. Like this path was not where you were supposed to be. You went backwards and it just landed you back where you did not need to be. Um, I just feel like somebody just don't see something coming. Like they do not see it coming at all. Like they're just so like, oh my gosh, this is never happening for me. This is never going to work out. And it's like, it is, it is working out. It's something that's coming for you guys. I do. Maybe somebody's confused about something being their right path. They want this, but they're confused about, they think that they, that if they go down this path, they're going to be walking into some bullshit. Um, the Knight of Wands being clarified by the Four of Swords. You could have returned to somebody that was a player or somebody that was very in and out and now you're healing from this, you know, you're really thinking things over or contemplating things or really just in, I'm getting like a hermit mode. Like you're really, really doing some soul searching or just trying to relax because if this person sent you through the ringer here, that could be what this, this four swords energy is. You're really resting, you're healing, you're thinking things through. Um, Somebody just probably doesn't want to be a player anymore. I feel like maybe somebody has calmed their ways down here because they see that something is not it's not working out for them. They're not getting what they want from a situation. They just keep going into bad situations with the Six of Swords in reverse. But I also feel like, too, with this Knight of Wands, someone's coming in very passionately. Could be for some of you. Just use your discernment to figure out if this is a player or not. Because the Knight of Wands is usually a player card, you know. But with it coming out with the Force Wars, I feel like it's just somebody, like, calming down their ways. They're really thinking before they come in. Thinking about what they want, if they want to do this or not, before they move forward. You know? Yeah. So, let's see. What is, um... Why is pathway here for cancer? Why is pathway here for cancer? The empress, yeah. Your divine counterpart. The seven of cups. What else for pathway? Seven of pentacles. Could be seeing sevens. But yeah. So the empress. Taurus, Libra, energy. So you... You could definitely be confused or maybe you were confused about which way you were supposed to go or I feel like someone was just scared to invest in a situation because they thought that maybe it was going to be like their past or something. But somebody is confused about why something is not growing or something like that. But with the Empress coming out first, um, this person that you're going towards and that's coming into your life here is the person that you are supposed to be with, I feel. This person is very caring, loving, compassionate. They're good mothers. Um, also, for some of you, whatever it is that you're creating is definitely the right path, so keep going. Whatever it is that you're birthing here, keep moving because that is your right path. You're going down your your, your right journey, you know. Um it could be that maybe this empress maybe invested time in you and things were not growing or the empress is somebody that's normally very patient. You know, they, they are, they have good traits about them. They're a divine feminine. So they do have good traits. They know what to be patient for, what not to be patient for. So I feel like maybe if this person is like waiting for you or waiting for some movement so y'all can go down this path together, they're confused. They're very, very confused. This person... Y'all could be dreaming about each other here. Somebody is wanting to invest in you, I feel like, but they're confused if they should or not. Or someone is scared that if they invest and they see this empress with all these options, because the empress does usually have a lot of options that, you know, they're not going to be chosen or they're not going to want to build things. I, I'm picking up a whole lot with this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like somebody was very confused about their path for a long time here with this with the person in particular. 
yeah so let's see why is mature woman here who's this mature woman king of wands will of fortune why is mature woman here spirit nine of swords king of cups so could be dealing with the aquarius taurus leo scorpio or gemini or libra but so with the king of wands coming out first <clears throat> there could be a mother figure here that's hmm. somebody here is worried this mature woman could be this empress to be honest but the empress is usually somebody that's very mature very very well spoken very honest you know very um sincere very genuine but nonetheless something is fated to happen something is destiny something there, there are changes the wheel is turning it might not be turned like you're not seeing it turn because maybe there's no movement right now but somebody is coming in there's communication coming in i feel like did we get the eight of wands yeah the eight of wands there's communication coming in it is somebody's ready to take action but somebody is staying up late at night they're worrying they're stressed about this and it's like let it go let the stress go you know because there's something happening there's karma here maybe this mature woman that you're that you was dealing with or somebody maybe a mother figure of some sort is getting karma there's karma here for something that someone did and now someone is very sad they're stressed and you know this could be you here ready to take action like you're not really worried about this person if that's the case you know what i'm saying like somebody just doesn't see something coming for them <laughs> they don't But yeah, the King of Wands is somebody that's usually passionate. They're very bold. They're very assertive. They're going to go and get what they want. So they're very confident as well. They don't like conf confidence at all. They're very good looking people, King of Wands. So yeah, something definitely is faded. The wheel is turning. There's karma involved in this situation. This mature woman could be getting karma for something that they did. And now they're in this energy, worrying, stressed, concerned not knowing what to do and this is you probably just ready to take action you moving on about your business here or you could be tripping about a mature woman you could be in your head about this person and not seeing that this you know this person is is part of your destiny here yeah there, there's something going on here let's see so let's get the potential outcome cancer let's see what is the potential outcome for cancers Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. So that's good. The Guru. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, if this was a third party situation with this Three of Cups and the Three of Swords, someone is someone is is healing. They've healed. Someone is definitely going to heal from whatever this is that's going on. Yeah. So that, that's lovely. I love when the Three of Swords is in reverse. Let's clarify it. Why is the Three of Swords here in reverse for Cancer? King of Wands again. Yeah. Someone definitely taking action. Yep. Definitely taking action. Setting boundaries with people that, you know, they don't need to be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, setting boundaries with people, even if it's like a mother figure or something, you still got to set boundaries with people. Once you get grown, it's like, you can't let, uh, don't matter if it's your mother or not, you can't let people overstep your boundaries, <laughs> period. Whatever boundaries you have set for yourself as a grown man or woman, they need to be respected, you know, by anybody that loves you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely somebody gaining their confidence back, gaining that courage to move forward. You know, somebody has found their, their passion, something that they're passionate about, they're going towards. And, you know, that, that looks nice, um, Cancer. That's nice. So coming out of heartbreak, coming out of depression, if that's what it was, anxiety. And it looks nice. It really looks nice. So let's see. It looks like there's going to be a reunion of some sort too. So let's see, spirit guides for cancer. What other messages do they need to hear? Cancer spirit.
we have resistance at the bottom of the deck. Let me just pull all of these out for you. Bottom we have reconciliation, yeah. <laughs> So we have resistance. The energy of resistance is present. Carefully assess the situation. This is an omen to signify that you are someone else's resisting change or an offer for something. Different than stubbornness, displaying resistance is a way of saying no to something for not being ready or in agreement to what is being proposed. Hmm. Yeah. We have a karmic lover. This is a connection built on trauma, bonds, conditional rules, and codependency. Jealousy, mistrust, lust, infatuation, and drama swirl in a confused state of awareness. Allow yourself to be free of repetitive karmic cycles with lovers who you have outgrown. You no longer need this lesson. Move forward, not backward. Yeah, y'all definitely sail backward to something. It's like whole time something was your wish fulfillment, but you sailed backwards into something that was not good for you here. And it was like, you know, that shit was messy. It got messy real quick. So let's see. News. Expect important information to come to come soon. This could come in the form of disclosing secrets, confessions, apologies, explanations, or personal hopes and dreams of the future. This may include receiving communication from someone you are no longer in communication with. Be ready. Pay attention to the signs. Mm -hmm. Communication definitely coming. Then we have coherence. Like attracts like. You are becoming coherent to the vibrations of others. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even physically, you are sharing the vibrations of others. Be selective with who you allow in your sphere. Protect yourself from toxicity. Thoughts and emotions can bleed through. We are all interconnected. Energy is shared. Mm -hmm. Then we have reconciliation. Forgiveness, emotional healing, and a return of former connections is on the way. You have options to accept or reject the offers. The offer. Expect apologies, explanations, and sincerity. Letting go of grudges helps the healing process. Openness, honesty, and gentleness will help you start over with a clean slate. Yeah. So you're reuniting with someone that you missed an opportunity with cancer. That's what it looks like. It looks like that to me. So, yeah, I mean, it looks good, cancer. It does. It looks good. You're coming out of heartbreak. You're letting things go. And you're stepping up. That's lovely. I love that for y'all. So... If this reading resonated with you, please like, comment, you know, leave me some comments. Y'all love when y'all talk. Um, subscribe and turn on your notification bell and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Cancer.